morning. This is the Financial News Network. I'm Christy Duffy. Here's what's in the news for Monday, November 22nd. Bloomberg News is reporting that Ireland will be accepting international aid from the European Union and International Monetary Fund to save its banking system. Ireland will be channeling the money to its banks through a contingent capital fund, and the total price tag may hit $130 billion. The Financial Times is reporting that the top 35 banks in the United States could fall short by $100 to $150 billion in equity capital after the new Basel III regulations are imposed, adding that 90 percent of the shortfall will be concentrated in the six largest banks. Bloomberg News reporting that the U.S. Air Force is delaying its decision on whether Boeing or EADS will win its $35 billion contract to build aerial refueling tankers. Bloomberg also reporting that Google CFO Patrick Pichette says their ongoing strategy includes social networking. And finally, The Wall Street Journal is reporting that the seventh installment in the eighth film franchise, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, took in a franchise record of $125.1 million at domestic theaters this weekend. For further updates, stay tuned. You're watching the Financial News Network. I'm Christy Duffy.